In this video, the equipment will first be demonstrated. The procedure is then performed on a patient with the scope connected to a monitor. Put on some gloves. Here is the scope. This one has a green cover, which indicates that it is sterile and ready to use. Once it has been used, the cover is replaced with a red one to indicate that it is dirty and will need to be cleaned. First plug the scope into the light source and adjust the brightness as necessary. Light is transmitted from the source through the flexible fibre optic cable. The eyepiece on the scope is where you look through. Hold the eyepiece and controls in your dominant hand and the remainder of the scope in your non-dominant hand. Your index finger can be used to move the scope tip up or down. By rotating the scope and moving the tip up or down, you can direct the scope in any direction. If you wish, apply some lubricating gel to the end of the scope. Many practitioners prefer using the patient's own saliva as a natural lubricant, which is also an excellent anti-mist solution. Rest the tip of the scope below the tongue for 5 to 10 seconds, which also acts to warm the tip. It is good practice to fully explain to the patient what you're going to do, before and during the procedure. Ask your patient to sit upright and rest their head back against the chair. Gently have a look in each nostril in turn, asking the patient to breathe slowly in and out through their nose. Entering the right nostril, the inferior turbinate can be seen on the left and the septum on the right. Advance the scope along the floor of the nasal cavity, gently changing the direction of the tip to avoid touching the septum or inferior turbinate. The middle turbinate and middle meatus are visible. Continue through the nasopharynx. Ask the patient to swallow. The soft palate is moving on the left. The eustachian tube orifice is visible. We are now turning 90 degrees downward. Ask the patient to stick their tongue out. The tongue base and lymphoid tissue can be seen. Here the epiglottis and vocal cords are clearly visualised. Ask the patient to say he to visualise vocal cord adduction. If you ask the patient to puff out their cheeks, you may also be able to visualise the post-cricoid areas. When you have finished the examination, carefully remove the scope, having again a close look at the anatomical structures. Give your patient some tissues to wipe their nose.